what the black man and woman needs to know about the nation, about the world, about themselves. Mohammed Speaks It. To order your 12-issue subscription to Mohammed Speaks newspaper, 313-371-7033. 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Kareem Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie. This bean pie is delicious. Mohammed Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's Teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. Brothers and sisters, prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, soul masters of their judgment in which we now live. The alone do we serve, and the alone seeks for thine help and aid. O Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou spell thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down nor those who go astray have they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He begat us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is there to be served, worshipped, or praised besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean... <coughs> We like to acknowledge the brothers and sisters that extended us the greetings of Assalamu alaikum. We have Minister Oscar Shahir from Ohio, and we have Brother Stuart X from Texas. I'd like to say in the name of Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, and in the name of his last and greatest message of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'd like to greet the brothers and sisters with the Nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Today we like to talk about Shaharazad Ali and obedience to Allah. This week, I guess the Shaharazad lovers came for Khalil Shabazz. It was an epic fail. All of the teachings, because I was expecting sooner or later, some of the Shaharazad lovers is going to attack. I expected that. But I thought with all of the teachings that I present, when I talk about this snake, I thought we was going to go pound for pound with some teachings. But these brothers, I see all over the internet, brothers saying that I'm not a real minister. They say I was made a minister by my mother-in-law. That's what they going to say. I, I done made at least four or five videos about this snake. Every time I talk about her, I put what she say with what the messenger say. But the Shaharazad loves. And that lets you know when people don't have nothing to say about you. They do as the messenger say what hypocrites and disbelievers do. They uh, make false reports and they make a mockery of the Muslims. So they say that my mother-in-law made me a minister. Then they say that I, like my slave name, because my slave name was Howard Jenkins. So they say I'm not supposed to have a holy name. So what they don't understand which really don't matter, but Khalil is not a holy name. It's not one of the 99 attributes. Khalil is an Arabic name, but Shabazz is the name of the tribe of Shabazz. So when I chose a name for myself, I didn't want to get a name like 50 miles long, 
I just wanted something short and simple. So I chose Khalil Shabazz. But that's neither here nor there. So let's talk about this no good lying little snake, Shaharazad Ali. Because if that them brothers came with is what she think going to stop me from talking about her, she need to get her some new friends. So let's go talking about this snake. So the two things that I want to talk about today, about this snake, they said that I, how can I call her a hypocrite without proof? And they say, we shouldn't be talking about this snake over the rostrum. First, I never called her a hypocrite. I said she has the characteristics of a hypocrite. Because what we must understand about the messenger, he taught us about all types of hypocrites. One type of hypocrite is the one that will not leave. That hypocrite who's sitting right next to you. They hate the message. They hate Islam, but they won't leave. So the messenger taught us the characteristics and the actions of hypocrites. So when he was in the laborers meet, he told the captain, he said, you don't just put a brother on the door. He said, you might put a hypocrite on the door. So he said, you got to watch him. You don't watch them one time, you watch them all the time. That's right. Because he taught us the characteristics of a hypocrite. But the first thing we'll get to that later. What I want to talk about first is they say we shouldn't talk about this snake over the rostrum. We should just call the snake, or some of them say, we should contact her MGT cap. Them brothers just came up with a whole bunch of nonsense. Now let's go to the message. This comes from the April 11th, 1969, Muhammad Speaks. And it's called Clarifications of Actions Taken by Messenger Muhammad Against Muhammad Ali's Actions. This is one of the best. Because you see the messenger says, clarification. Why does he say clarifications? Because when the messenger first dropped the hammer on Muhammad Ali, everybody felt like how, I, how they feel when they hear me talk about this snake. What about all the donations the snake gave to y'all? What about how long she been doing it? They were saying the same thing for Muhammad Ali. Look at all he was doing for Islam. Because one of the things about Muhammad Ali that we don't talk about, Muhammad Ali's first wife name was Sanji Ali. She was a mom. So Muhammad Ali divorced her because she wouldn't accept Islam because we think in this new school stuff we think this no good lying little snake would be doing this during the time of the messenger and it would be cool for you to be alright with her but the messenger taught us the characteristics of hypocrites so the messenger didn't even have to tell Muhammad Ali to divorce her. He already knew. I can't be no Muslim nowhere around Elijah Muhammad married to her. Because she wear makeup. She wear tight clothes. She do photo shoots. She a lost fan. So he automatically know. Messenger gonna be looking at him. Like, how you believe what I'm saying, but you marry her? How you believe I'm teaching you the truth, and this who you choose to marry? Sister ain't no Muslim. Sister looking like a savage. 
She coming in here with tight clothes. Why you marry her? He didn't even have to tell Muhammad Ali. He did it on his own. What about today? How many ministers married to lost found? Since we talk. How many ministers got their lost found wife? With her tight clothes. With her lipstick. Coming in the temple around the brothers. Showing them off. Let's talk about it since we talk. You wouldn't have been able to do that around the mess. Right. Because he taught characteristics of hypocrites. Mm -hmm. He said, Islam is not what you say. Islam is what you practice. Jesus, so the messenger dropped that hammer on Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. All black people saw him divorce. Sanji, beautiful sister, nice looking sister. He a young boxer, heavyweight champion of the world. Black people had never in their life seen a professional athlete so devoted to his religion. But when you read the articles, they would talk about how, how dedicated he was to the message. They would talk about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad ruled the nation of Islam with an iron fist. fist. So they saw Muhammad Ali. First they saw him lose his title for not going to the war. Then they saw him divorce Sanji. Then they saw him going all the way to the Supreme Court so that he wouldn't have to go to jail. Black people saw him do all that as they say for Islam. So one time they asked the messenger about Muhammad Ali going to jail for Islam. Messenger said Muhammad Ali goes to jail. He going to jail for himself. He ain't going to jail for Islam. He said Islam was here long before Muhammad Ali and it'll be here long before he did. Well, long after he's dead. Yes, sir. You ain't doing nothing for Islam. Mm -hmm. That's what we feel about this no good lying little snake. Mm -hmm. And we say this for the rest of the snakes. If you giving us donations and this is a teachable moment for all Muslims. When you got these snakes, they not giving you donations out of the kindness of their heart. They got an ulterior motive. Because let's talk about this snake for a minute. This snake telling everybody about how many donations she used to give. She making the lost files and all these people who ain't Muslims or they halfway Muslims one foot in, one foot out. Like she was carrying us. But what this no good lying little snake never tells you. She says she wrote articles for the Muhammad Speaks. She don't tell you that she was writing under her alias. Right. This no good lying little snake didn't even want nobody to know. That she was writing for the Muhammad Speaks. Right. When this snake used to come around Muslims, she would have her MGT garment on. Because to think the reason why this no good little snake used to come around. All the pioneers that she saw come in the Savior's day. She saw Secretary John Ali write her off. He didn't use her hands. He showed his face. She saw Jeremiah Shabazz write it up yes. for the Muhammad Speaks. She saw uh, Minister Hums write an article. She saw Ahmad Muhammad. Mm -hmm. That brother, if it was any pioneer that I can say changed my Islam, mm -hmm. it was brother Ahmad Muhammad. It was many pioneers that then came this way. So this no good lying little snake. 
She never made no name for herself in Islam. Ain't nobody know nothing about no Shaharazad Ali. But what this no good lying little snake wanted to say to promote her book? She wanted, I'm with the true followers of the mess. I be with the true followers of the mess. The true followers of the mess got my book in a newspaper. That's what that snake really want. Because when she got around them lost fun. When I posted this picture of this no good little snake, them lost files had never seen her in her MGT gun. Because she was trying to be incognito. That's what she ain't tell. So she gave donations like everybody gave donations. We don't care what you give. That's for the snakes that's giving now. You think you giving big donations and we ain't gonna talk about you. If you do like this snake, you will be next. So let's go on with the message. All black people saw Muhammad Ali give up all this as they thought for Islam. So when they saw the messenger drop the hammer on Muhammad Ali, they thought the messenger was going too hard. So the messenger being the messenger, he put at the top of this article, clarifications of actions taken by messenger Muhammad against Muhammad Ali's actions. So he go even hard on Muhammad Ali, calling Cassius Clay, write a page and a half, talking about how Muhammad Ali is outside of the brotherhood of Islam. This was the messenger of Allah. Yes, sir. So then on the back, because this is the, my favorite part, the messenger was the kind of man. Is you with me or is you with him? I like that about the messenger. That's one of the things that changed my understanding of him when I start reading these Muhammad Speaks newspaper, it's like if I'm against him, how you feel? You like him? That's your man? Tell everybody who you with. So on the other side, or on uh, the next page, underneath the messenger's arc, Sister Margie Hassan has Muhammad the righteous judge. Let it be known we stand with the messenger, not Muhammad Ali. <laughs> then you got Secretary John Ali. Because he was with Muhammad Ali. Who you with? You with me or you with him? You think I was too hard? Tell everybody how you feel. So Secretary John Ali. It says, so there may be no doubt. I would like to tell the world I am with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in his decision or in his defense of Islam against the reckless statements by Muhammad Ali. You got hurt. I ain't his manager no more. I ain't with him. That's how the messenger was. Who you quit. So then you have in a Jet magazine. They put, did Elijah Muhammad dump the champ Ali? In other words, he said what he said. Messenger ain't change a word. Right over the rostrum. This was the message. If you was in a position where other people saw you, and you did something that went against the messenger put you on blast. Sometimes it's what you did was some small little mistake. The messenger will go light on you. I don't want people to think the messenger just didn't have no love or no feeling for the black man. He loved us. But we needed a leader like him. He showed us how to be Muslims. So then we can go even further than that. 
we can look at when this hypocrite, Malcolm, look, because you got to know that is my favorite history of the nation of Islam. Everybody who was cool with that hypocrite, the messengers say, tell everybody how you feel. When you see this hypocrite, Louis Eugene, at that time, he was Louis X of Boston. So the messengers saw you was close to this hypocrite. What? That was your man. What? All right, we going to pick you. Tell everybody what kind of hypocrite he was. That's what we want you to do. Right. Hey, Akbar, his baby, wasn't you cool with? Go, go to New York and tell everybody how you feel about that hypocrite. Mm -hmm. When Akbar didn't do it, the next issue of the Muhammad Speaks decreed Akbar Muhammad, Wallace, all of them. Jeremiah and Captain Joseph had everybody that was cool with that hypocrite. Tell them how you feel. Mm -hmm. That was the message. So do you think that if this, if the messenger was alive, he done told us clearly in warning to the MGT. He says this is a warning to the MGT and GCC. Because the one thing I want people to understand. When I first started talking about Shahrazad, they be trying to say that it's some personal that we got against this snake. No, it ain't. Because when I started talking about this snake, Sister Zakia used to try to defend her. Yes, I did. We used to get into arguments about this snake. So after I would bring so much information, because the one thing I love about a belief, the truth is the truth. I done had it happen to me. Sometimes you fall in love with a brother or sister. You just love. You like how they do what they do. You just love. Then you find out they ain't what you thought they was. Sometimes it hurt. Yes, it does. Sometimes it take you a little while to accept the truth. Yes. But at the end of the day, the truth is the truth. <laughs> so once I uh, brought the truth so much evidence against this snake, truth is the truth. So that's when I became a minister. I say, I'm going to talk about this snake. Because I never liked her at all. I was always an Elijah Muhammad believing Muslim. Yes, sir. I never was a black man who had no issue with a black woman. Thanks to Allah, if I wanted a black woman, I'd go get me a black I ain't never had to read the black man's guide to understand it. So I didn't never, I wasn't one of them kind of brothers. So when everybody had all of this fanfare for her, I respected her. I didn't know nothing about her, but I met Brother Akma. Brother Akma loved the message. He loved the message. You could tell by the stories he told. And the one thing I loved about Brother Akma, he always could tell you where to find what he was talking about at. Whether he talking about the message to the black man, he talk about the Muhammad Speaks, the Pittsburgh Carrier, any old outside magazine, he could tell you where the messenger said. Mm -hmm. I was impressed by that. Yes. He donated to us since we talking about donate. He the one who donated to us crates of Muhammad Speaks newspapers. Yes. Them malls was in immaculate condition. So when I start reading the Muhammad Speaks newspapers, the first MGT that I read was Sister Marjorie Hassan. Then I'm like, wait a minute. Then I start really looking at this little snake in a whole different light. 
Not only was I looking at Muhammad Speaks, I was reading Pittsburgh Carriers. I was reading all these outside newspapers of the message. Then I said, when I become a minister, I'm exposing this snake. And that's exactly what happened. So when we go even further with the messenger, we can go to the March 22nd, 1958 Pittsburgh carrier. The messenger got a prayer for the Muslims. At the end of this prayer, it says, and we cast off and forsake him who disobeys thee. This same article that the messenger wrote in the Pittsburgh Carrier and other black newspapers was also in the Muhammad Speaks. Then this same prayer is in Message to the Black Man. So the messenger goes on to say there are many Muslims and black Christians who for the sake of certain privileges do not carry into practice the casting off of those who disobey Allah and think it is a sin for the true righteous Muslims to do so. So when you see all these Shaharazad Ali looks, they think it's a sin that we cast off and forsake. What does it mean to forsake? Forsake means to forsake another person is to leave them entirely, usually in a moment of need. That's the teachings of the message. He told us that if you got any Muslim or any lost father, who disobeys Allah. He say we supposed to cut them off and forsake them. Mm -hmm. Meaning if this your son, if this your wife, if this your husband, and they need you, you supposed to forsake them. Mm -hmm. Because forsake means even in the time of need. That's the teachings of the message. So when you saw Muhammad Ali, he had to cast off and forsake. No matter how much he loved her. If you want to be a Muslim, this is what Muslims do. So let's go on even further with the message. This is another Muhammad Speaks newspaper. This is December 18th. 1964, Muhammad Speaks. This is chapter 4, section 9, called The Prophet Must Be Obeyed. This is verse 63. It says, These are they, the secrets of whose hearts Allah knows. So turn aside from them and admonish them and speak to them effective words Concerning themselves. Then the messenger has in parentheses. You who believe. Separate from them. Speak in strong language of their deviation. So when you see us talking about this no good lying little snake. We doing what the messenger taught. That's right. He told us to forsake all those. Who disobey Allah. We don't care what this snake is. We don't care what she donate. We don't care how many articles she wrote. She a snake. Because let's just keep on going. Because I want to touch our bases. Now let's talk about how this snake got all the characteristics of a hypocrite. Let's look at these characteristics of a hypocrite. Now remember, we can't just say Shaharazad is a hypocrite. We can't do it. 
We ain't never heard her denounce. But what we can let everybody know, she's showing signs. So let's go on with these characteristics. The messenger said, this comes from the September 19th, 1969, Muhammad speaks. It comes from Holy Quran, chapter 4, verse 142 through 145. Messenger says, the above verse, 142, speaks the truth of the actions of hypocrites. So when the messenger is explaining to us the actions of hypocrites, you could be sitting right in MGT class, but we looking at your actions. Because you can say what you, I love my, I love I just love him. He, I love it. I lie behind. You can talk all that talk you want to talk. But the messenger says, it says the above verse, 142, speaks the truth of the actions of hypocrites. The hypocrite thinks he is deceiving Allah himself and those who believe in Allah and who follow his truth. That's very important. While these hypocrites, or in Shahar, the ones who have characteristics of hypocrites, while they sitting in your face, praising Allah and Muhammad, they don't know you looking at their actions because they think they deceive in you. That's what hypocrites do. Hypocrites think when I come with my MGT garment on, they gonna be fooled. When I get up and speak and talk about how much I love, how I love her, she gonna rock us to sleep. But the messenger say, these hypocrites think they fooling out lie and the Muslims who believe in his truth. Not in any old truth, but in Allah's truth. Allah's truth is why we wear no makeup. That's Allah's truth. Allah's truth is warning to the MGT. That's Allah's truth. But the hypocrite, they just talking the talk. It says, and again, the hypocrite is known by his wavering between that falsehood and this truth. And he belongs neither to these nor to those. So the hypocrite or the one who has characteristics of hypocrites, they think they don't, that we don't see you wavering from the messenger to the black man's God. You don't think we see that. Not only do you think you fooling us, you think you fooling a lot with this garbage. But the believers see you. Let's give an example. First, we got to start with MGT Shaharazah. That MGT Shaharazad who accept what all MGT accept. The one who wrote our Savior's left. What do MGT believe about black women in America and the message? The first we gonna see, what do MGT believe about the message? This, this is written, this is the March 2nd, 1973, Muhammad Speaks is called The Black Woman. This was written by Dorothy Wadad. She says, the honorable Elijah Muhammad, messenger of Allah, to all black people in America. That's number one. She's saying this in her book, The Black Man's Guide. But the messenger is the messenger to all black people in America. So it ain't no one sister who got it all figured out. He the messenger to us all. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go on in first. Then she goes on to say, she says the honorable Elijah Muhammad, messenger of Allah to all of our people, has been mission to right the wrong that has been done to us by the white man. That's what this snake accepted. So we as true believers who believe in Allah's truth, looking at this snake, when we looking at her book, we looking at it like why she's separating herself from other sisters. What makes her special when we all believe that the honorable Elijah Muhammad is the one to right the wrong? Right. But see, when she come around us in the MG, I'm alive, my heart. She thinks she fooling us. She thinks she fooling a lot, but she only fooling herself. It's gone. She says his teachings to the black woman in America are designed to return her to her rightful role, which is the mother of civilization and the queen of the universe, a most beautiful role. That's what we know about the message. Pray due to Allah. We all accepted the fact that we all in the same condition. We accepted the fact that God can. We accepted the fact that God chose the messenger. We accepted the fact that his teachings is specially designed to right the wrong put on us by the white man. So let's listen to this snake. What she said, this in her book called The Black Woman, The Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. This what this snake gonna say. It says the black man and black woman in America have a problem. They do not get along. We agree with that. We got a problem. We don't get along. Now listen to what she say next. She says, before the black man can devise a solution, he must know the components of the problem. Characteristics of a hypocrite. What you mean? Before the black man devised, let's go what we all accepted about the black man. Because one of the things I heard these brothers say when they was trying to talk about me, I said and I said today, all these fakes take that black man as God out of context. I said it then and I said it today. I don't care what you said. Let me make that clear. You think you dragging me. I don't care what you said. I already put it in my mind when I became a minister. I didn't know that it was going to be like this. I'm going to be frank. I thought that when you present the truth to people, they would accept it. I thought sometimes they might be a little slow, but I felt like when you get believers and you show them the truth, they going to accept it. I quickly learned that ain't the case. No matter how many times you show somebody the truth, they reject it if the truth ain't in. Some people hate the truth. That's right. So when they hate the truth and you present the truth, they hate you. So since you love the truth, you submit to the truth, you conform your life around the truth, then all they can do is either make a mockery of you or spread false reports. Mm -hmm. I've accepted that. Yes, sir. That's what these niggas gonna do. Yes, sir. So I let a nigga be a nigga. <laughs> Sometimes some of these niggas that garbage they be talking about be so weak. Like the messengers say, I'm not gonna dignify that with angst. Mm -hmm. 
So I know some people might have expected me to say more, but I'm not going to. Sometimes you just let a nigga be a nigga. So let's go to the message. What did the messenger teach us about the black man that all of us accept? This comes from the July 19th, 1968, Muhammad Speaks. The messenger says, the black man in America is not an example of the original man, for he has been used by his slave masters for four centuries in what we call experimentation. Through the experimentation by the wicked slave masters, who were made without love or mercy for black people. He says they have been, they have the black man in America before the world as a wrecked, robbed, and spoiled human being without the knowledge of himself or anyone else. And he is used by the white man as a tool for whatever purpose the white man sees fit to use him. So we believers believe in the teachings of the messenger. We listen to the snake talk about how she loved Allah Muhammad. But we read in your book, you going to these same savages with this the black man is God stuff. But you taking it out of context. The messenger didn't just teach us the black man is God. He taught us all these wonderful things about the black. We the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet earth, God of the universe. But he also said the black man must be re-educated. The black man is in no condition to criticize a black woman. The only solution a black man needs to know for a black woman is the message. That's the only solution. So then you got these Shaharazad Ali loving brothers. Because I be reading their comments too. The Shaharazad Ali kind of brothers, they like to call themselves alpha males. Because they want to call other brothers simps. I done heard them call me a simp. Don't make no difference to me. But they call brothers who show any sign of compassion for a black woman, they say she a simp. Messenger ain't never taught us nothing about an alpha male or a simp. He said the black man in America, meaning the simp niggas with the alpha male nigga. The black man in America, because he taught us no one person can rise above the condition of his people. Right. It ain't no you are alpha male, but he, if he a simp, you a simp. Right. That's the teachings of the message. He said, when you know yourself, you know your brother. Yeah. So if you alpha male, he want to. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are, he is too. Mm -hmm. He a simp, you a simp. Mm -hmm. You see him as a simp because you see yourself as a simp. Mm -hmm. Messenger said, when you look in the face of a black man, you see God. He ain't say, when you look at one, you see an alpha male. When you look at another, you see a simp. That's that nonsense. Yes, Get the kind of stuff these niggas who Shahara's eye like me talking about. But the messenger is the only solution for the black man. That's right. So let's go on even further with these characteristics of hypocrites. He goes on to say, he says, this should make it clear that a lot God shows that type of person his independence of them by leaving them in such condition since they cannot decide between belief in the truth of Allah without adding falsehood to. So this is why. You don't even see this snake dressing up like this no more. Allah leave her in that Shahada's Ali condition. Mm -hmm. He just leave her in because she don't know 
whether she want to accept the truth of the messenger without adding falsehood to it. Then the messenger goes on to say, he said the hypocrite wants to mix up the truth with falsehood. He sits straddling a fence. He has no sense of loyalty. He will fall on either side, even though it be on the side of the devil. He will fall on the side from which he thinks he can obtain benefit. However, the devil's side will be shortly. This, this snake Shaharazah. She don't have no loyalty to the MGT at all. That's right. The messenger said, us is FOI. He said, we are not to speak or talk FOI affairs outside of the FOI meeting with anyone, including wife and family. So he tells the sister some niff, I mean something similar. Why do he tell us this? Because we are cleaning ourselves up. The messenger breaks us apart, as KRS-1 say, to the very last compound. He break us all the way down. So when he break us down, he leaves us very vulnerable. So if we learn, tell our wife, what we learning in class about ourselves. If we got a Shaharazad Ali kind of wife, she going to use that against us. So the messenger said, don't discuss FOI affairs. Outside of the FOI meeting with anyone, including wife and fam. But you got this snake who has all the characteristics of a hypocrite. She knows she learned a whole lot of stuff in MGT class about the black woman that she can turn around and use against the sister. What kind of MGT? Go put on your book. Read it before she does. Why you as an MGT who the messengers say keep your stuff to the MGT? Why would you go to some brother like, look, I know something about these. Uh, go read it before she get her hands on. That's a snake. That's why the messenger said. These hypocrites think they fooling the Muslims and they think they fooling Allah. But they ain't fooling nobody but themselves. Let's go on in first. Let's go to another MGT. This time, this is the September 25th, 1970, Muhammad Speaks. It's called Truth of Muhammad's Teachings Gives Dignity to a Muslim Woman. This is what the sister says. She says, uh, her, the sister's name is Sister Denise Tuex from Los Angeles. She says a Muslim follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is above all the most respected of all black women. She is well aware that no nation can rise higher than its woman. So she carries herself in the best manner. She knows herself the queen of the planet Earth, mother of civilization. It says she respects herself and this act alone demands for her respect from all who encounter her. She is the most protected black woman in the country of North America. She realizes that the black man following the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Let me, let me stop right there. She didn't just say the black man. She didn't just say the black man, God, you God, you, you the best, you, you, you this. No. She said the black man following the honorable Elijah Muhammad. But a snake, she going to the brothers, treating them like they followers of the message. Oh, you, 
It's you and she don't, she just don't get right. It's really you, your black man is God. You know that? The black man is God. You, you everything. She ain't nothing. That's a snake. Yes. So the sister says, she says she realizes that the black man following the honorable Elijah Muhammad would give up his very life for her because he believes her to be the most precious of all his possessions. So therefore she must live a righteous life for should, for should a life be given for her, it should not be in vain. That's the MGT. Yes. She didn't just say that for the black man. She didn't say that just for any old nigga. These niggas out here in the street who have not accepted the teachings of the messenger do not believe that the black woman is the most precious. They don't believe that. They won't protect the black woman with their life. So why this snake? Going to these same savage, uncivilized brothers, beard-wearing brothers, overweight brothers, fornicating brothers, weed-smoking brothers, telling them something about uh, the black man's guide to understanding a black woman when he don't even understand himself. He ain't even took the responsibility to clean himself up. Right. So when the messenger was teaching us these teachings, he taught it for the MGT for a FOI. He didn't teach it for the MGT to try to go get her lost found husband and treat him like, no. MGT for FOI. That's why Muhammad Ali, he can't be no FOI for no lost found sister. He got to find him a MGT. That's how the messenger gonna look at him. All these sisters I'm cleaning up. Why you out here with this lost found sister? Messenger could have came in them all kind of ways. Your heart must still be out there. Yeah. You believe what I say? You don't want none of these sisters out and cleaned up. Mm. It go both ways for the brother and the sister. Yes, sir. Messenger ain't teach no MGT to clean up to go get no lost found savage. Mm. Who, who's Shahara's eye talking to? With the black man is God. Let's go on even further. Goes on to say, she says, as a Muslim wife, she strives to be very, the very essence of peace. She is to her husband as the moon is to the sun. Let me explain myself. The Muslim man, just so you don't get it too, let, well, let me explain myself. I don't want none of you savage brothers out there who ain't accepted the message. Because that's the one thing I love about old school MGT and FOI. They let it be known. It's a difference between a follower of the messenger and everybody else. Yes. Because when you look at this uh, snake, Shaharazad Ali, she the first MGT in the history of the Nation of Islam that did some snake stuff like this. You got MGT captain who was taught by the messenger. There wasn't no snake like Shaharazad. Shaharazad take whatever she learned in MGT class just to use it against her sister. If you know that the messenger is transforming sisters where they say, I used to be like this, but now I know I'm the queen mother. Why wouldn't you tell the sister that? What does sister got to tell her brother? She a snake. She got the characteristics of a hypocrite. Ain't no loyalty in this snake, and that's why we don't have no loyalty to her. Right. Ain't no loyalty to this snake. She a snake. She got the characteristics of a hypocrite. Because us as FOI, to show you this snake, when the messenger teach us to go out, because the messenger tells every FOI, he said we should spend at least two hours a day getting the day. 
That's a bit of pee. I'm a brother. I know that sounds hard. I know to the other audience, the sister, that don't sound like much. But to a brother, that's a lot of time. He didn't say spend. He said at least two hours. A day. Get in the day. When you look at these Shaharaz Ali bro, the alpha male brothers, they don't want to do nothing to help no sister that they not sexually involved with. They don't care nothing about no sister. That's why you don't teach them savages. You invite them savages to the temple. If them savages don't want to come to the temple, you lead them savages in the condition they in. Yes. That's our job. We just hit off it to you. <laughs> Messages say the temple is the place where we teach and train. Yes. But we done had so many hypocrites. Mm -hmm. So many people who had it. I seen this video of this snake talking about herself. She act like when her book came out. When I first came out, they didn't want to let me. They were trying to ban me. They were wearing Shredder talking about banning Shahara's Ali. Then, you know what happened? People started reading the book. People started coming together. Then the enemy saw, and that's when they banned me. Because the enemy don't want nobody who going to put the black family together. What's different than that than what Farrakhan be? What you talking about? You bringing the black... The messenger brought the black family together. <laughs> but these hypocrites and those who have this characteristic think we, we don't hear you saying that. What you... You ain't did nothing to bring the black family. The messenger did. That's right. So these brothers who be listening to Shaharaza, they don't care nothing about the black woman. Only black woman they care about is one they trying to have sexual intercourse with. Mm -hmm. All other sister to hell with. Mm -hmm. But the messenger say, no. You are responsible for the uncivilized. Not only are you responsible for them, it ain't your job to go out there and teach them. It ain't your job to go out there and criticize. All you do is offer it to them. Yes. That's it. We don't do like the black Hebrew Israelites. That's how you know they don't love the black woman either. How easy would it be for all of these coward niggas? Messenger talked about how the white man stomped on the black woman for years and the black man did nothing to help. Now you get cleaned up or you think you right. Now, oh, sorry, coward nigga, the black man is God, nigga. You go out there and tell a black woman Talking about she ain't dressing much. When you ain't protected her to have what community a black woman got. When you look at them Arab women, to show you the huge diff. Arab women, Chinese men, women, Korean, they have a community. Them Arab women don't never have to see no nigga. They don't have to work for a nigga. They don't have to go to a store owned by a nigga. They don't have to live in a community with a nigga. They don't have to do nothing with no nigga. But a black woman, all she do is living her whole life around people who hate her. She go work for the white woman. White woman hate her. She go down to the supermarket with the Arab man. He hate her. He's selling her all kind of bad food. These old coward chump niggas. Black man is God nigga. You standing around like you so good. What you bring to, nigga, what you bring to the table? How a nigga who live in the white man's country wearing the white man's name gonna ask her sister what she, nigga, what you bring to the table? You don't have a nation. You don't have nothing to call your own. But you have people like Shahara's out. Casting these brothers up. But the message, he put all that air out that balloon. He was way more harder on brothers than he was. What you got to call your own? You ain't got nothing. Your name after him. You eat hard. You don't provide your woman with supermarkets, schools, restaurants, clothing stores. You don't provide how what you look like to go out there and tell her she need to dress much. That's a nick. But the message. He has something to clean up all niggas. 
You cleaned up now? Go out there and just offer it to the prostitute. All the messengers say the best thing you could say, Muhammad speaks. He ain't teach us to say, sister, you know you need to pull your dress up. Sister, what you offering? What you bring? Muhammad speaks. Because as a Muslim, we believe the messengers teach it can reverse the wrong. We believe his teachings is specially designed for the black man and woman. So we ain't got to criticize them, humiliate them, nothing. Just offer it to them. That was the messengers teaching. So let's go on even further. So the sister says, she says, as a Muslim wife, she strives to be very, be the very essence of peace. She is to her husband as the moon is to the sun. Let me explain myself. The Muslim man is the head of the household. He is the maintainer of his family. And as the warm and life-giving power of the sun keeps all planets rotating in orbit around it, so does the warmth, security, and love of the Muslim husband keep his wife rotating in submissiveness around him. The Muslim man. It ain't, the messenger ain't say these niggas in the street. The Muslim man. Because it's a give and take. If we want the sister to submit to us, we got to provide her with everything she needs to make a house a home. Messenger said that the black man is an elevator of the black woman. That means we change their condition. A black man who know he's the guy, he'll never ask a black woman what you bring to the table. It don't make a difference because we are the elevator. Or that we can change her condition. That's the teaching to the message. That's the man. If we really want a black woman to put on modest clothes, what would happen if in the city of Detroit we start owning uh, uh, clothing stores? We start having sisters in modest dress walking out in the public protected, looking nice and modest for these other sisters to see. Because when you live in a community, where the white stylists is on all of the clothing stores, what do you expect them to wear? They have no choice in many cases. It's easy for a man now who never defended his woman, never provided for her, to now act like you cleaned yourself up and criticize her. But when you really look at it, what do you really have as a man? Because we can talk all of this Afro male stuff. But when them police officers shoot a nick, they went, when do they see alpha male nicks? When, when these Koreans come to these cities and take it over? Well, why don't they be like, well, we ain't gonna take over Detroit because they got too many alpha males in Detroit. We ain't gonna go to Los Angeles because you know they got them alpha male niggas rougher than the simp nick. A uh, alpha male nigga is the same to a simp nigga. Nigga, give me your money. Give me your mama's money. Give me your wife's money, nigga. Let me repossess your alpha male nigga cop. You living paying me rent. What you talking about an alpha male? So the messenger says, one person that cannot rise above the condition of his people. So when we see that prostitute, we know we ain't no better than her. We might have cleaned ourselves up. We might know how to repeat some lessons. But the messenger says no one person rises above the condition of their people. So no matter how much you love this no good lying little snake Shaharazad, she just as bad as the prostitute. <laughs> Ain't no queen Shaharazad. She just like everybody else. Well, brothers and sisters, we don't want to prolong the time. So I leave you as I came in the nation of Islam's greeting words, the peace of Asalaamu Alaikum. Enjoying the show? Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033 to make a donation. Brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. 
the beneficent, the merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone do we serve and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou spell thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent but upon whom we all depend. He begat us not, nor is he begotten there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is to be served, worst or praised besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, the honor of Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.